My name is Caitlin Beamish and I teach math here at West Chicago Community High School. This is my second year teaching. Over the summer, we read a book called Building Thinking Classrooms, which focuses on changing the way that we do math in the high school setting, making it very much more interactive and student focused. So this year, as we started reshaping our curriculum, we really focus on ways to connect students' prior knowledge to what we're doing and the new topics that we learn. And we really have seen a difference in the way that students interact with the material, are really motivated in learning and extending upon what they know, and just re-engaging students in the math that we do. So this is my eighth year here at West Chicago Community High School, and in my role it's always been my goal to kind of create more engaging experiences for the students in mathematics. And as we ran into the pandemic that year where everyone was teaching at home, that was really nearly impossible. And then when we came back, I really saw that need even more. Students were kind of disengaged and reluctant to kind of work with each other and talk with one another. So this Building Thinking Classrooms was a nice framework to utilize to try to kind of promote that to happen. Well, when I read Building Thinking Classrooms, I think it was just really eye-opening of just seeing a really hands-on way to get students more involved in the classroom. It gave just a really specific structure for a way to get every student involved. Putting them up at the whiteboards is kind of their structure to do it, so having students take the whiteboard markers, have them up at the whiteboards, talking with each other, doing them problems on the board. At first it sounded like something so small, I didn't really believe that it would make such a big difference, but then just kind of the more that I kept trying it, the more that the kids loved doing it, they were so engaged, they loved having the non-permanent space up there to make mistakes, to be able to erase, to fix it. They started talking with each other, started figuring out each other's mistakes. I didn't even have to help them with it. All of those things just really helped the students to take ownership of their own learning. Really when I kind of think about our kind of philosophy or goal of living, learning, and leading here at West Chicago, I think the Building Thinking Classrooms really helps with that learning and that leading part. Our goal as educators, regardless of the content that we have, is always to create thinkers and learners. To be a good learner, it's not sitting in a classroom, listening to what a teacher says, and then just regurgitating what they've said onto a piece of paper. We're trying to get them to think mathematically, to think critically, and really in all subjects that's what we want them to do. And in terms of that leadership piece, to be a true leader, I think you have the ability to work with a variety of different people, to come and try to solve problems together and complete tasks together, because when we get out into the professional world, people are going to be working with others and having to collaborate with one another. Part of the Building Thinking Classrooms model is randomized groups. The whole point of randomizing it is that students get comfortable learning with whoever they're with. So they kind of, I think, are pointed back to the point of math, which is just learning how to problem solve and learning to do that with whomever. And I think when you randomize the groups, the students end up having to learn to explain things multiple ways because they're not just used to one person's learning style. They have to really be able to explain it in many different ways, which I think deepens their understanding. Students have really liked doing the whiteboard work and we usually do it about two to three times per week. My name is Bibi Sobra Kabir and I, this year I'm learning geometry. I really enjoy that I'm learning geometry with uh, my teachers and those students. I really enjoy that, that part that I'm stand up and doing in the boards with the students. It's really good instead of that, you're going to the boards and writing. Uh, question and then answering the questions. So I really like talking with the students about geometry and I re they uh, raise my hand and answer the questions. I really like it because uh, it's more open your mind uh, when you know the geometry, like math. 